So my sister and I were home alone this weekend and the night before we had had a few friends round and the kitchen had been left in quite a bit of a state and there was quite a lot of washing up as well from meals the day before so I just decided to get all of this done. It took such a long time to clean but I was finished by 10 to 7. And then even though I had already technically had breakfast, I was really hungry by this point. So I decided to get myself some baguette and half an avocado. As you might be able to tell, I have actually changed and I've put my hair up in a bun as well, which I don't usually do, but it's very hot today. Even though it's quite cloudy, as you can see, it's actually really, really warm. And so I've changed into a shorts and t-shirt because I was kind of overheating in what I was wearing before. And I'm wearing my Ravenclaw top, which is one of my favorite items of clothing. I love this t-shirt.
One of the really great things about summer is that there is so much more time for letter writing, which is one of my favorite pastimes. So I have a few pen pals and this morning I decided to reply to some letters. So here I was just writing a letter to my friend Madison, who lives in America, but who studied with me in Exeter last term. And we've decided to become pen pals so that we can stay in contact. And then I decided to seal the letter with proper sealing wax, but I was finding it really difficult to light the wick on this first piece of sealing wax. So in the end, I had to use a different one, which as you can see, works a lot better. And then since we both like Harry Potter, I decided to use my Hogwarts ceiling stamp. And then the second letter I decided to write was to my friend Imogen, who is a family friend. So here I was working on a project for anti-bullying and I can't tell you too much about it at the moment but it's really exciting and I've been putting a lot of work into it. It's rather unlike anything that I've done before as part of a campaign but I'm hoping that it goes well. So the next thing I wanted to do was properly clean my glasses because I don't know why I don't do it more often but I just never seemed to properly clean them and they were quite dirty. So I decided to just dedicate a good five minutes to intensely cleaning them. And whilst I was on a roll, I decided to clean my laptop as well. I like to disinfect my laptop at least once a week and I hadn't actually cleaned the screen for a good six months and it was really dusty and there were lots of sun marks on it. So I spent a while just getting rid of these so that my computer would be clean again. And then I decided to tidy my room. I don't like working or being in a room which is messy, so I'm very glad that I did this. Then I went back downstairs to see the dogs and go outside.
and then I decided to go on the trampoline just to get some light exercise and I love trampolining. I do trampolining society and feel free to skip ahead because I'm pretty sure I've included like a minute and a half of clips here. I love strawberries, it's like my favourite frozen food company and I'm having one of these kale and quinoa burgers. but I wanted for the artichokes to be slightly more crispy. Okay, so these are biscuits and I added baking powder to these so that maybe they'll raise to be like scones. Um, need to put all this away. Here we go, lunch at my desk. Garlic roasted aubergine side to this veggie burger and then I've got some avocado and green tea. Okay, so in this next clip, whilst I was eating lunch, I was working on the book that I'm writing at the moment. I always like to be writing a book just for fun because I really enjoy writing. Okay, so um, I'm just working on the book that I'm writing at the moment and I've decided to do an MBTI test as my main character so that I can kind of understand her a bit more because I'm doing character development and planning for that now and I feel like it would just be a useful thing to do. And then here I was watching Study Quill's new video. Okay, the next thing I need to do is go and feed the chickens. We're meant to feed them our leftovers but I didn't really have that many leftovers. has to go in here so oh, they step on it and then the food comes out and I'm also going to go get some water for them this is about to run out of charge so I don't think you're actually going to be able to see it we've got a tap over here how do I oh there's a hose there as well I was just thinking I've never actually like done the water for them before So then next here I was making this printable, which is kind of a birthday present ideas tracker. And then after that I decided to spend a good two hours planning for a product which I would like to release on Pumpkin Productivity soon, uh, which is really exciting. So then next I decided to get ready to film a video, so I just quickly fixed my hair and I also put on some makeup because I have very red cheeks and so when I film, my cheeks look even more red and I like to just put on some concealer on my cheeks just to reduce this redness before I film. So then I got filming, I ended up filming three videos during this time. And straight after that, I decided to do a live stream on Instagram.
Next here I was editing the video that I just filmed And then I cleaned my desktop because it was so, so cluttered and I had so many screenshots and things that I just hadn't deleted. So this was something I desperately needed to do. Okay, I'm gonna have this for dinner. and I decided to cook up some quinoa to have on the side. And I also made a homemade naan, but I didn't show me doing that. <laughs> this is perfect, the perfect end to quite a productive day, I would say. Lola! I love going outside a lot during the summer because the weather's so nice. And I went on the trampoline again. And I also sat outside for a bit and read. such a beautiful evening and it smells like summer because two people are having a bonfire. This is a little bit later when I'm getting ready for bed. So I thought that I'd just show you my kind of skincare routine here. So what I like to do is, first of all, because obviously I did put on makeup to film with earlier, I decided to take this off with a makeup remover wipe. Then next I'm using this Yes to Grapefruit face mask on a stick. It's really cool and it smells really nice. And I try and do this every single night. And actually this product was sent to me, I will just point out, but I'm really liking it. And then of course I will brush my teeth and because it's me, I read whilst brushing my teeth. This definitely is not my flannel. Even if it was this morning, I think Martha might have used it for who knows what. <laughs> then next I will just wash off the face mask. And I will also moisturize just on my elbows because they get very, very dry and also on the top sides of my feet. So then I needed to go downstairs because I realized that the dogs were still out. Hey, Lola, come on. Come on. Lola. And then my sister's friend was staying the night and the next day she was going straight to school and she hadn't brought round her school shoes. So I decided to polish up this pair of mine so that she could wear them to school. <laughs> Hi! This is me, the amazing Jaya. Oh. Sash like fell over her head. Yeah. From your, when you were in your seven. <laughs> I was friends with Ruby before I was friends with Martha. Shut so up! Now, what are you doing? Vlogging. Vlogging. She's cleaning shoes for me to wear tomorrow because she's so nice. I'm so bad at the workplace. I'm so oh no, I'm so bad at the workplace. Okay.